COVID numbers from the State Department of Health are out. More than 4.2 million Floridians have been vaccinated. 2.3 million have completed the vaccination series. It takes all of us to make sure that all our community uh, uh, getting the vaccine and making sure all our community informed. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker has been talking to people at the Gateway Town Center tonight. She spoke with organizations who say minority communities can be overlooked when it comes to the vaccine. These immigrant and refugee groups are serving as bridges to their communities and getting out information about the vaccine. Though I'm told that there are many barriers, they just want to make sure that the resources and information is available for everyone. A race to roll up sleeves and administer COVID-19 vaccines. Some groups say they've been left out the picture. Uh, what we really sometimes uh, worry about is the major minorities community and leaving behind the minority of the minorities community. Besma Alawi with the Florida Immigrant Coalition says communities of color face language barriers, a lack of transportation, concerns of costs and health insurance, and just a lack of information. FEMA's vaccination sites say they have sign language interpreters, Haitian, Creole, and Spanish translators, video remote interpreting, and language translation services for all languages. But some of the concerns that we are we have been hearing, the question is, uh, will my citizenship status affect my ability to get the vaccine? The Biden administration's COVID-19 vaccine plan says all people in the United States, regardless of their immigration status, can access the vaccine free of charge. Refugee community advocates say much of their population isn't currently eligible. Martin Shelf with Beyond 90 says he's had a few more questions regarding the vaccine, but it's not a main concern. It's a slow moving um, target, if you will, to, to get them to stop thinking the way they did over there, which we don't want them to lose their cultural culture at all, but we do want them to understand some of the things that are out there and available to them. He says many of the families he works with aren't insured, which he feels poses a challenge. But both groups say having the information available for all should be the minimum. The number on your screen is the 24 hour, seven day a week Florida immigrant hotline and you can call that number if you have any questions regarding the vaccine. They will get you the resources you need in Jacksonville, Maryland Parker Channel 4, the local station.